So, so, uh, so why would I want to buy one of these, uh, Mr. Radio Shack Manager? Why would you want to buy one? Because now everybody's a KO Cooler Vigilante. Welcome to the Pharmacy Seeds Network 3.0. My friend Jack sent me some olive seeds. I'm going to get a few of those started. And I want to get some basil and some holy basil and some Hawaiian orange marigold and that sort of stuff going. <coughs> Dug out my old probe meter for pH and moisture. We're going to get things tuned in nice here. Got good humidity in here now. Sitting at 48% and 73.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Got a 400 watt metal halide, a 400 watt high pressure sodium, air circulation fan, exhaust fan, 400 cubic foot a minute, four inch in the back there. Is an exhaust modulator or a exhaust fan modulator. Basically, based on temperature, it ramps the fan up and down. So we're going to keep a nice temperature stable and humidity as well. <coughs> uh, part in a rack. Oh, and there's a, uh, those are 2700s in that T5 light array there. And then I have a couple of these LED lights, but I don't really trust or like those very much. So I don't think we're going to run those in here. We don't really need them with 800 watts of HID. <clears throat> and uh, of course greenhouse raspberry pi is now monitoring temperature inside the tent and air intake temperature for the tent <clears throat> um, I probably will add air output temperature light ballast temps a few soil temp probes etc 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 humidity etc etc uh, most of this equipment was stuff that I had or was given to me that I cleaned up and resurrected. I did have to buy the tent. Uh, that wasn't cheap, but it was a worthwhile investment for sure. Well built. Uh, tent is by AC Infinity. And uh, it's great. I'm excited. Uh, it's a 10 by 10 tent, in case you're wondering. Uh, so that gives me lots of room. Uh, it protects the floor from any moisture or water damage and contains humidity and moisture and light in an effective and efficient way. So uh, I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some seeds here, but I thought I would share a little update about what's up and coming here at the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Uh, I guess I should mention the AC Infinity, the company that makes this tent also makes a controller unit for these it's supposed to handle exhaust and all that kind of stuff and they even make a kit with an exhaust fan i'm back and forth you know it's another cost to add it to it but i would like the controller part of it i can buy the controller separate but then i gotta wire usb and relays and all that kind of stuff i almost think it's worth just buying that whole unit um, but regardless i will continue to advance and develop the raspberry pi stuff We'll monitor the grow tent for now. In the future, of course, I plan to build another greenhouse, bigger, better, and faster, so to speak. But in the meantime, this is my little playpen. I hope you'll tag along with me and enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. We're back in action for 2023. say 
uh, first glance through the manual and the paperwork. Um, this thing looks really well made. I'm, I'm impressed so far. I think this is a well designed, well machined tent and uh, probably ultimately worth the little bit of extra money that it costs. Uh, <laughs> of course, leaves me wondering what would the Gorilla Grow tent be like given they're like double the cost of these or more. But uh, yeah, this seems pretty sweet and I'm looking forward to assembling it. Got the spill trays and the main tent out of our package. <laughs> all right, so the plants are all out of the way. This place, this space is completely empty. The floor is spick and span. You could literally eat off of that floor. It's that clean. <clears throat> now we're ready to assemble the tent. That was uh, more of a project than I thought it was going to be, but I also didn't realized just how big the 10 by 10 tent was till I got it here and remeasured again and uh, it's gonna take up this whole blank space you're looking at here so uh, yeah gonna be interesting but uh, you know at least uh, at least we're finally to the assembly phase one piece at a time every time I try to come back and work on this I get a phone call I'm gonna lose another three or four hours but it's coming. I'll be here though. Back to you, dude. There was definitely a tight cram here. But I definitely could not lay this out separate and then move the frame onto it. I just don't have the space here. So I had to lay the floor out first and then build the frame on the floor. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Get I really wasn't kidding about taking up a whole lot of space. <laughs> but, I gotta close this last seal up quick, but just give you a peek inside. Alright, I just turned it on. She's warming up. I think with all the reflective surface, we should be pretty solid. Carrying on. Another phase. Got the exhaust fan up. Mounted. All the vents closed. I gotta go pick up a clamp from one of my hardware storage sites for this side. This side's on. The pulse width modulated fan control is in. That's very nice. Uh, let me just show you the difference here. We're at like what? 30% uh, fan power. You hear how much louder that is. So uh, nice to be able to regulate that down. That's temperature controlled. Above a certain temperature, it ramps the fan up to higher power, up to 100% power. Below that temperature setting, it stays down at the power setting you put it at. I got it at 30 at the moment. So, uh, anyway, it's all coming together, and I'm pretty stoked. Shelf in, so we got a little room for seedling trays and some storage space and all that kind of stuff. Can hang a few uh, fluoros and LED bar lights on that if need to. And I turn around, and look at that, I'm staring at a blank page. Brand new workspace. New rack in the corner here, set up in conjunction with the light here, so you can actually set plants facing off this way at the light, maximum vertical use of the lighting. To hold the crack so we can have one drain point that we can break out. It's a contractor bag. 
set in the wood box used to be the firewood box at my parents. Thought it would make a nice planter space. All right, so in this big blue bin, we've got a ton of ginger, super heavily overplanted back in the spring because I didn't have any space for it. Uh, so, uh, and then uh, I mixed in some sweet potatoes because I didn't have any space for them either. So they're blended in. So I just uh, created this new bin, put some soil in it, and uh, I'm gonna transplant the sweet potatoes all to this and then I'm going to set up some kind of trellis as they line up and give them a place to grow vertically a bit. And then we'll see. I'm sure they'll go crazy, but I'll try to contain and train them. But uh, that'll give a little more light to the ginger and better light to those. And my hope and thought is I can get some continuous reproduction going here for sweet potatoes. Uh, but we'll see how it all works out. Well, sometimes we are more successful than we expect. Quite a bit of nice uh, sweet potato there. I actually could harvest some of those, but I'm going to plant them right back in and get them rocking. And uh, actually finding some nice ginger in here. And even more interestingly, this is the first time I've ever had this happen with ginger. I've done it with turmeric, but I actually have ginger flowering. So that's pretty cool. So kind of fingering my way through all these vines and stalks here trying to root out as many of the sweet potato stock as I can sorry for the shaky camera work but a little tricky anyway uh, just thought I would show that pretty stoked uh, that ginger is really dry again I just watered that heavy the other day so I'm going to soak it again as well as the new planting of the sweet potatoes as soon as I get them in. Well, there we go. Sweet potatoes are transplanted. One purple up in there. The rest are uh, like Beauregard or something like that. They're nice. Grow nice and they're tasty. And got things rearranged in here, put down a little bit of fertilizer, and gave everybody a good soaking watering. Should be good for a bit. Efficient techniques help things a lot. So uh, this is my soil working bin. This is a pot I'm filling. And this is where the Pro Mix is. Cut open so I can just go in with a scoop and scoop out what I need. Gravity helps it drop. Saves a lot of backache and hassle. Getting the lab sorted a little bit at a time. Getting things sorted in here a little bit at a time. Just pulled these off the rack here to have a closer look, and we got some germination popping here. Bink, bink. Same on this one. Bink, bink, bink. Right on. Uh, those are both basil, I believe. And I might have mixed something else in there. I get excited and carried away sometimes. 